Well, it's springtime and uh, camping season. Hi, everybody. I'm Alan Warren, the RV wingman and owner of Big Chief RV Resort here in Texas with my beautiful wife, Lisa. Hello, everybody. And we're going to tell you in just a couple of minutes. It's going to take more than a couple of minutes, but we're going to tell you some of the joys and struggles of owning a campground, all in hopes of helping you become a better camper. Absolutely. So hi everybody. Yep, we're going to talk about the joys and struggles of owning a campground and we own a campground called Big Chief here in Central Texas, but the things we go through are not unlike the things that camp campground owners and their staff go through all over this great country. Everywhere. So the weather, how was the weather this weekend? It was beautiful. It was perfect. Picture perfect, seriously. And, and we were full, the campers, and, and, and almost nobody was misbehaving. And that's really a blessing for us and for our staff and for our other campers. But So we are situated right on this beautiful lake in central Texas called Lake Buchanan. But it's real pretty, and we're proud of it. And, mm -hmm. and a lot of people come for the water sports. You know, they'll bring their boats and their skis and their... Inner tubes, and they, they, some of them... And fishing just, poles and, yes. and, and, and uh, kayaks. All, mm -hmm. You know, if it has to do with lakes and water, we people bring that stuff. Absolutely. So, and so the weather was great this weekend. Lisa and I are down on the waterfront. We're in our golf cart. We're just, you know, and talking, hey, how y'all doing? Cruising it was, around. It, that's the joys of this business. I mean, you know, what could be better than knowing that we help make people feel good? Yes, and, absolutely. We were a part, make their experience better. We help them make these memories. And so right. um, we're sitting there talking with some people, and, and everything's great. And she and I, at the same time, we look down at the lake, just right down there, and it's like, what's that little girl doing? There's a little girl, probably, I don't know, 11, 12 years old, and she's in the water, you know, kind of ankle deep, and she reaches down, and she picks something up, and she's when she walks towards us, right? Yeah, yeah. And we're just looking like, like what, 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 what has what? she got? And, and there's people down there with their dog, you know, throwing a fetch em up thing, and go, yeah. dog goes out in the water. It's, it's, it's a campground. And little kids with their inner tubes. and You know, it's awesome. And so this little girl comes walking up, and she said, do you want this? And we're like, oh my God. Oh my God. Fish hooks and line and weight and crap all over the place, right where everybody is. Enjoying their day, swimming, little kids swimming in their inner tubes, dogs playing fetch. It, it, I'm thinking, oh my God. What kind of a bonehead would do this? I mean, don't think, don't, it's a campground. It's not just your lake, pal. Right. It's a campground. There are families out there. And, and this little girl brings us water. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know if the How camera. How many hooks are on there? Yeah, thing? I don't know. Several, but. but They're big ones. I know, mean, that could hook a nice, dog's mouth and just go through your foot. How would that help your vacation? I don't know oh. anybody who would prefer to step on that. But um, anyway, so I'm like, oh, are you okay? And she, yeah, well, be careful out there. And she goes down there, and we keep talking. We're both embarrassed. It's like, oh my God, oh. we can't. You can't go out in the water to police everything. And what does the girl do? Two minutes later, comes back with another one. You can't make this stuff up. And no. we're like, oh my God, it, it's. And so we want you to be a better camper. We want you to be a better camper, not just for uh, the campground owners, but for. Everybody at the campground. Exactly. But um, so it, it's it's not just that. Um, talk to me about friendly campers. You know. Oh, oh my gosh! So to <laughs> tell <laughs> we're driving up along uh, our camp where we have our cabins, and we see a little dog outside. Now at the campground, all dogs. The rules say all dogs must be on a leash at all times. So we see this little dog walking around and we're like, excuse me, ma'am, would you like some trash bags to pick up the dog's poop? And she's what? like, what, what, just cranky. <laughs> just, she's leaning on the rail and just looks at us. And, and the, the reason we said that about the, about the poop bags was, was just to break the ice. It's like, you know, I, nobody has a bad dog. Just ask them. Hey, oh, my dog's a nice dog. But you, your dog may be nice, but the other person's dog may not be. And exactly. That's, that, and they're that, animals. That, that's why we say, please, please keep your dogs on a leash. It's in our rules. It's just common mm -hmm. sense. But anyway, so this lady's leaning over outside the cabin. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> it's just like, oh, my God. Do you know? Oh I wonder what gosh. she was like before she came camping. And, and so I said, would you like uh, a couple of bags? And what? You know. So, yeah. And so she's like. And, and then we were getting ready to leave and I was going to go to the office and get a couple bags, come back. And um, Alan mentioned, you know, ma'am, the dog has to be on a leash at all times. 
She looked at him and said, are you going to carry this dog around all day? <laughs> and, and then I, you say. I said, no, ma'am, you are. She looked at me. I said, ma'am, it's in the rules. You, you know, you've got to, you, the rules were, they're on the website, just like they are at every campground. They're on the, the, our email confirmation. So when you book your camping trip, you're going to get them on your email confirmation. Right. You, you're going to sign the document, the yes, paperwork. Yes, it says it on the document you sign when you check in. You know, you, you're aware of what the rules are. And, and we don't have any rules that aren't, we, you know, we think they're pretty common sense. Right. But, uh. She was just, just, oh, just angry, and some people are just angry. So, in so I, I said, "No, ma'am, you are." Mm -hmm. And Lisa's like, "Oh," and I said, "I said, honey, I said that's the kind of thing that that she will take advantage of us." And her voice was very deep. Well, that told okay. Us. So, but I got to tell this part. Okay. So I get the I get the bags to take back up, and he drives me back up, and I knock on the door, and I hear from inside whoa, 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 the dog barking. I can hear him walking around, and then I hear, "Go away." <laughs> I'm like, that's a first. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> and I went, oh, not going to yeah. happen. And so I said, at least he goes, wait, what do you want me to do? And I said, knock on the door because it's better than if I'm going to do it. And a, a different person opened the door, whatever, you know, it barely opened the door. And she said, uh, very friendly. I heard, I mean, it was right there. Right. She, Here's your bags. And what'd she do? She just closed the door on me. Just didn't say thank you mm -hmm. or, you know, have a good day or go mm -hmm. to hell, but you nothing. know, just nothing. And, and we understand people can get in a foul mood, but I mean, my God, you're at a campground to relax and to have a, and have a good time. Have a I good mean, how time. can you enjoy yourself when you have an addict and especially people around you? And you so, and here's the sad thing, you know, we, we do uh, a lot of reunions here and that's not sad. That's really great. Mm -hmm. A lot of family reunions last year because of COVID. Well, with, we couldn't do them. We had to cancel you know, them. So we rescheduled. They came this year, and this person was uh, somebody that was in that group. Yes, yes. But they hadn't paid for the cabin. Somebody, right? Right. So, Another family member paid for the cabin for them. And so they come down, and just like everywhere, I don't know of any place that allows smoking inside their facilities anymore. That that went away a exactly. long time ago. And especially when we have signs all through the cabin that say no smoking, this big. And, and you, they signed it. They, mm -hmm. You know, when they got here, it's on the rules. There's a sign there in the cabin, no smoking. And so the cleaning lady this morning, she texts me and she says, and, and the cleaning lady, by the way, she's a smoker. And so her sniffer doesn't work so right, good. Right, right. And she texts me. She said, I think there's a problem in cabin, blah, blah, blah. And I went, oh, God. <laughs> So, so I went up we, there. We went over there and thinking if she could smell it, what? Oh boy, it was so strong. And then she said, and I also found cigarette ashes on the dining uh, the dining table and the window cracked open. So they were trying to hide the scent. You but can't you hide can't something hide that. like that. And so and and so what had to happen was you had to call you first off. You looked it up and you're like. She wasn't even the, the guest. I mean, she was a guest of a guest. Right, but somebody else had paid for her reservation. So guess who got to eat the, the cleaning fee? Because we've got to go in there. People don't like to smell mm -hmm. camp in a place. You know, because if, if we allow smoking in a cabin, it, I don't know. You I have just, to air the whole thing out or put a deodorizer or put an ionizer. And We're not smokers, right. and we have nothing against them, but keep your smoke to yourself. Right. Don't, don't share it with it. Don't share your love with everybody. Not with cigarette smoke. So anyway, but she had to, so the person who actually made the reservation ended up having to pay the cleaning fee for that person. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, the, for the her guest, yeah. for, for, for her guest. So uh, wherever you go, please think of others. Please think of the campground. Um, we view Big Chief as our home. It's our home. It's it a, is. It's, it's our, our property. Mm -hmm. And we want you to have a good time, a great time. But it's our home. And as such, you should respect not just our campground, but every campground. Don't you think? Yes, and you're when you go to a campground, you're a guest there, and so it's treat not your it campground. It, it's it belongs to every. <laughs> it belongs to the owner, but it belongs to everybody. And oh. so you know, it, it's difficult because we have people that are anywhere from from a solo. You know, uh, traveling nurses will be here. You know, one mm -hmm. person that doesn't care much about the social stuff. Then we have uh, some young families. We have. Uh, some retirees, full timers, a few of them. So right. a vast variety of of campers that comes and stays with us and stays at every mm -hmm. campground. And even though they're not like you are, they're still just as important as you are. And so they don't want to hear your music after the no. a, a quiet time. So turn it down. Be and respectful. if you want to take your party 
inside, that's fine, but just keep it down. A lot of people want to sit outside and have their music. Well, that's fine until 10 p.m. That's quiet hour. And, and a real quick thing about being gutless, as I say, it's hard to not be gutless without being ugly. I see things on Facebook all the time, and how often do you see it in our groups? But somebody says, you know, that, well, the person uh, that's, that left the shopping cart in the RV full of trash, please clean it up. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was me. Oh, my God. I better go right. clean it up. How about tactfully, respectfully approaching people that need to be approached? We live in a time where we have been so tolerant. So accepting, oh, maybe if, I, maybe if I don't say anything, they'll just stop their bad behavior. No, no. We see what things are coming to. We don't want to make up the rules here. We, when we started at Big Chief, we, our rule list was about that long. Be nice to everybody else and be respectful. Didn't work. Nope. Then you had to do the obvious, like no speeding. And people are like, no kidding. Yeah, it's not for the people who follow the rules. And they don't follow the rules. The, 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 you know, it's like the, I don't know. What about yesterday with the man that blew past us and his truck and he had rented a boat. We allow the boats to come out here and drop them off for people who rent them. And he just came through here. We have a, a sign limit. You yes, know, it's, limit. It's, it's, and we have speed bumps all through yeah. the place to slow people down. And literally caught my attention because he flew right over the speed bump. And, and she jumped in the golf down. cart. I, jumped, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I was and proud I, of him. I got him and I said, excuse me, sir, but... I'd appreciate if you didn't like drive like a bat out of hell through here. And he's like, well, I was following him. I, I said, I don't care who you were following. I, if you were in the front or back, I saw you. So you're the one I'm requesting to slow down. Accept responsibility. I'm telling you, Please. if we all accepted our responsibility, even especially when we screw up, life will be better for everybody else. And you know what? It will be better for us. It's painful mm -hmm. to accept responsibility when we make bad decisions. I make a lot of bad decisions, but I try to be as as responsible as possible. That was mine. I'm the one that screwed up and never do it again. Like the person, idiot, that did this, that left all this stuff mm -hmm. down on the on the, the waterfront for, for somebody to step up. Can you imagine? That would have certainly ruined Daddy, it look what I caught. Look what caught me. And then we get a terrible review for it. Campgrounds all over the place are working their butts off. Most of them work really hard to prevent this kind of thing mm -hmm. from happening. What would happen? You know, the other thing is, ouch, almost got me. A lot of these fishermen that come down, we love, I, I love to fish. Mm -hmm. But a lot of these fishermen will come down with bait, you know, minnows and stuff. And they'll just, they'll just leave their dead minnows. Ah, nothing like the smell of rotting shad in the morning. Ugh. You know, for... And so the dogs go down there. Let your dog go up. That's why we put them on a leash. The dogs run, 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 run. Hey, there's something nice to, to eat. Nom, nom, oh, nom, nom. Be careful. You and may so be eating the, that. It's true. We've got to think beyond ourselves. It's getting more and more difficult. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this week's video. We thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel. Yeah, please subscribe yeah. and Give us a thumbs yeah, up. Please. Got a question, got a comment, post it down below. We love hearing from mm -hmm. you folks. Um, th this, again, is not done as a marketing video for Big Chief. It's not. We're doing pretty well, and, you know, we're not the perfect fit for everybody, but most folks kind of like it. Yeah, well, they love Except it. Except the lady earlier today. Ooh. She didn't uh. like it so much. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, so we're doing this to help everybody to be a better camper, to be more thoughtful of others, more thoughtful in your travels, and to grow a backbone and not a wishbone. Right. Don't be gutless. Don't be ugly and in their face. Always start out. Always start out down here, real low. You can always escalate if you have to, but don't be gutless. Don't accept and tolerate bad behavior. Right. You know, don't don't be petty either. There's a, that that space, if you will, of tolerance. Don't be too petty, but don't be too tolerant. Right. All right. So until next time, I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. And, and I'm Lisa Warren. We want to remind you to be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home. And be a better camper. Be a better camper. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.